Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nerd News, and today we have some more aggressive labor cuts in the industry. Destiny, one of the top five most profit generating games of June 2024, has laid off another 20, another 222 people from their staff. Uh, this is in, this is in part as part of a, uh, collab, not collaborative, but like as, as an ongoing effort to incorporate more of Bungie within Sony. This is a, um, turnaround from what Bungie had previously said that they were going to be more autonomous, you know, akin to, you know, Ben and Jerry's having more control over their business, even though they are owned by a corporate master. But I digress. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. More, de many developers have been either, there have been a good chunk of developers, at least a hundred that have been fired uh, wholesale, uh, or rather the 222 positions have been fired wholesale. Others, like 75, have been reappropriated into new roles, and, and a further 150 have been incorporated into Sony Entertainment uh, proper, um, uh, broadly. Uh, this is on the wake of, you know, last, like, their previous expansion before the Final Shape doing, let's be perfectly frank here, abysmally. On release, Last Light may have had some interesting new mechanics but by and large was ultimately a narrative flop by many accounts um now let's just talk briefly about the fact that if we're being patently honest you know this is kind of probably going to be the end of of destiny soon like i'm not saying that they're going to announce it like after this but Destiny is on the way out. It is a, it is very much a game that is on life support. The actual development of the game itself is not. Unfortunately, despite generating a stupid amount of money through in-game microtransactions and, you know, even sales themselves being poignant, just to quote, even this is despite microtransactions doing rather well, to quote, Thor from Pirate Software, you know, StarCraft 2, uh, StarCraft 2 expansions, uh, Beacons Delivery or whatever the fuck was called, generated less money than a $15, you know, mount for World of Warcraft. It's just, you know, brass tacks of it, you know, they're, they, they are generating a stupid amount of money. The problem is the profit margins are not high enough. Destiny is a beautiful, verbose game that requires constant, you know, ongoing development because it is functionally an MMO light. And, you know, it doesn't, unlike things like the Elder Scrolls Online, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, RuneScape, games that have a certain level of horizontal progression and Bat and previous content that is still very much playable and even enjoyable in some cases, and it, like even though it's they've been out for years, Destiny unfortunately doesn't do that. It kind of forces you to engage in the most recent content, and you know, as somebody who has, you know, who played Forsaken and you know before they vaulted it, you know, and uh, way back in the day, and who has tried to come back to enjoy Destiny as a free-to-play player essentially who doesn't want to buy the new expansions the game is essentially unenjoyable and unplayable um you know in a, for for a new for a new or returning player it is only good for the current people that are currently playing it in my personal experience and i think that we are very much witnessing the uh destiny 2 kind of going on life support mode i think with the fact with Bungie essentially being decimated, practically decimated here, I think what will ultimately happen from here is if Bungie is able to and Sony doesn't interfere, they will sort of go back. They will um, do some timey wimey bullshit to 
you know, make it like make it so previous content can be redone and hard and be harder. They might go back and make it so like when a new player goes through, they go through each expansion that comes out uh, in order when they buy the most recent edition up until like the new stuff in the end. So you see all of it, everything basically happening in order, you know, maybe doing some toned down raids or what the fuck ever to sort of like or like to make a tournament to like one person strikes or 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 things of that nature like adding a adding all of the raids and stuff to the game to like a thing that you can just do with your friends randomly you know kind of put the game on life support long term you know adding maybe some new battle passes here and there you know some new co cosmetics but ostensibly no new content there might be some T new tooling for pvp some new tooling for some pve stuff but you know they're not doing any new big expansions and they're kind of putting the game on life support which is kind of where i see this going over the next couple years the final shape was you know the la it was the last big hurrah it was the end game it was like your avengers end game it was I think that it is going to be a, a space, place where a lot of people do kind of hop off at this point because, you know, it's destiny is destiny. I've talked at length about destiny too and how on paper it is exactly the exact type of game that I would be in love with. It is a, it is a, it is a looter shooter. It is a MMO. It is a lore narratively deep game in terms of like the wider world that you're a part of and it just to me personally fails on all of these fronts and it's very sad i would love to love destiny too but i just can't and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for listening. If you want to hang out and join the community, please consider doing so at himedia.gg slash discord. You can get our discord links from there. Thank you so very much for listening. I appreciate you, your time, and your listenership. Tip, tips can be donated at the same URL, himedia.gg slash tip. And we will see you guys next time.